So, welcome back, everybody. So, I'm picking up exactly where I left off in the last episode. I'm trying to wrangle these zombies into place, and they are just not behaving themselves. So, I guess we're just going to get started again. Okay. Boy, this is... Oh, no, I didn't want you to pick that up. Oh, oops, and I forgot to put the little rail thing down. Okay, we're going to have to start this over. Okay, I know. I, okay, we know in theory that it can work. So let's see how we're going to get this to work. Let's see if I do that. Maybe that'll have enough momentum. Maybe, oops, maybe that. that there maybe that'll have enough momentum to push it in there now i'm gonna just have to wait for more zombies this one maybe if i stand over here i think this this may be far enough away i'm just gonna have to wait again okay i think yes i've got a few more in here come on oh there we go oh well we'll shove you back in there and then eventually you'll come out. And then we'll see. Yes, I know, I know. It's still sunshiny. Oh, good. Um, there, I think. Let's get rid of this. Ah, there we go. Okay, let's see if this actually works. Um, I'm going to... No, no, no! Why? Why can you get out of there? Why can you get out of there? Hmm... Did he catch? That's interesting. He actually caught on fire with the candle. Okay, so. Where are you at? Come on. I didn't know candles would catch them on fire. Let's see, is there a way? Now I'm going to have to think of something else. Okay, you stay there. Let me think of something here. So how could I do this this time? I'm not going far, so I don't think you're going to be able to get away. What kind of block? I guess I could put a fence there. That's pretty rudimentary. I wouldn't need this then. So if I just put a normal fence there, that may actually work. Actually, I think I'm going to try...
that. Some wax, copper. Blocks, yes, there we go. Um, I probably will not be able to get my minecart back. How come I don't have a polished, or at least some kind of block to put in there? Uh, is there a polished? And there's polished and say. Okay, we are making progress now. Well, I didn't realize that they can jump over those iron bars, even though there was a honey block there. So that was inconvenient. I'm going to let's see, do. that so I'm hoping this will push him right into there and not into the glass we're gonna we're gonna try this and see come on there we go Slowly. Oh, it worked. Okay, so let's... Okay, I, I screwed up again. Once again, I, yes, I screwed it up. Okay, there's my... Yeah, I do need the honey block in there now. Actually, I need three honey blocks in there. Where he is... He's going to come up behind me, isn't he? Where'd you go? There you go, okay. Come on over here. Come on over here. Stay there. No, no. Okay, yeah, stay there. You know, this sounds like such an easy job. Okay, so what I need is a honey block. So I should be able to do that. Do that. And give this a little shove. Come on. There. Now. Oh, crap. Jeepers. This is like comedy errors. Okay, you're fine there. Okay, he's not where I want him to be. Let's see. How do I get him? What a mess. What a mess. Can he not jump up on? Can you not jump up on top of these? Oh, you can. Okay. So fragile they are. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, there may be another way to do this.
Did he despawn? That was quick. Okay, so that's gonna leave well, I guess it well, doesn't fix my problem, but that is uh, gonna have to be it for that. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I think I still have another one in there. Maybe not, I may have to wait. And it seems to be taking an extraordinarily long time for these uh, zombies to show up. Okay, so this should pop them down there. If I can get rid of the mine cart without getting rid of that honey block, I would, it would be remarkable. Um, is that there? Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, so then I can just get rid of this. And get rid of this and this. So they're going to stand on the honey block. And then I'm going to put um, these coppers. Yeah, I was going to try and pick him up with the boat, but he's not even there. So I'll put these coppers here. I'll do there. Redstone. So that rail should kick him into there. And then I can do that for all of those. Let's see if I've got somebody else who wants to try it. I really don't think it should have been that difficult. And of course, we're out of zombies. So let me go stand over here for a while. See if they'll respawn. Because I guess they just got tired of spawning. I find if I stand like right about here and wait a while, they seem to show up. So I went across the valley because I thought maybe there were mobs causing problems, and there were. I found tunnels, tunnels full of mobs and monsters. And my very first spawner. There's a zombie spawner here. I think I was saying that, oh, I have not found a zombie spawner. Well, I've got one now, so. So, yeah, so I've been going through here cleaning things up. Got a little bit there. I'm just gonna put everything back in here. Get a lot of 13s. Oh, uh, yeah, I think that's it. I was all going to use that. I had to even go get my bow because... Uh, so this is good. I, uh, let's mark... Where are we at? 20, so I'm going to take a screenshot of that. So we're at uh, 3207 and 2038. So that's, that's good. Finally a spawner, so I'll have to build a spawner tower. But yeah, I was in here. Came into this thing. This was all dark. There's a whole section up there which is all dark. Full of mobs, just full. Full to the brim of creepers and zombies and spiders and skeletons. Oh my. And then down here, there's a... This is all unlit. So all this has taken up my... I was having trouble... Well, let me, let me re, you know, backtrack. I was having trouble getting zombies to spawn in my little zombie dark room. And I couldn't figure out why. And then I noticed I looked across the way and there's like m mobs just wandering on the hill across from where I was standing. So I was thinking that is taking up my mob cap. So why are they going to spawn in a little trap where I'm going to catch them when they could just spawn over here and be safe? So I went over here just to light everything up. Oh, wow, wow. I'm going to have to get out of here. I've got water. I need some air. I need some air. Okay. Ooh. Jeepers. 
And these guys are probably taking up space. So. I didn't want the mob caps. Like I said, I said, come over here and clear things out, light it all up, and then maybe my uh, spawn rate will be a bit higher. What I wanted to do is get... I'm not... I don't have a lot of this glow ink. So that's what I was after. And I am going to drown, I am going to drown, I am going to drown. So anyhow, that was what I was doing. So let me, uh, so now I'm going to light all this up and then go over and see if I can get my zombies that I need for my church. Because that was kind of, that's, I was standing there just waiting and waiting and I get maybe a skeleton, maybe a creeper, but nothing useful. Oh, that'd be embarrassing if I drowned. So hopefully, now I should probably get a good spawn rate in my uh, in my little zombie, my trap. And luckily I found a zombie uh, spawn, which will be very helpful. Because I, I can build an XP farm out of it. Because I've been running over this to... Other other bases to get XP, and then my tools and stuff. But now I don't have to. Well, once I get it done, I'll probably build a tower or something. I'll have to find out exactly where it is. It just clearing up that little bit seemed to. Uh, Oh, come on. Seem to uh, do the trick, because I got like three zombies in there now. Okay, go all the way down to the end and come back. There we go. I know, I know, it's hot. You're going to have to survive. I don't want to wait till dark. Okay, you're there. Let's see if you'll... Let's see, can I... There we go. Oh, how the heck? How did you get out? No way, man. Come on. Well, then what would you do? You must have set yourself on fire. Come on. There we go. Boy, that is more trouble than it's worth. I did not think it was going to be that much trouble. Um, maybe I'm going to have to... I think I'm going to have to raise the sides on E and just sort of keep them in there. Boy. I didn't think this was going to be this big of a pain in the butt. Oh, and before I forget, because watch, I'll forget, leave, and won't, uh, won't name tag him. Okay, you're going to be there. That'll work. That'll work. Okay, so I guess I'm going to do maybe that. Yeah, I think that'll work. Okay, I'm hoping this will kick him all the way over there. And then he won't be able to spawn out. Actually, I think he'll be fine here. So if I leave it like this, he should end up in there and he won't spawn. That's the only thing I don't want. I don't want that. He won't be able to get through there. Well, maybe if I put a half slab there. Let me get a half slab. Let's try this again. I've got another. Uh, I've got a mine cart. And I've got another zombie. We'll try this one more time. Oh, yeah. This is doing much better. Look, I've already got two more in there.
Haha. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, that okay, that'll work. And then there. I lost the minecart, but that should be fine. Oh, I can get the minecart on the other side. Oh, before I forget. Oh, before I forget. There. I, he's named. And I should be able to get the minecart from the other side. This is finally going to work. It only took forever. Hours, it seems like. Ha ha ha. Oh, oh, I didn't know you. I forgot. Yeah, I did put window here. So it actually gives you a good view. Finally. So my problem with this is I had a. Uh, had too much spawnable area over there, but you know, after lighting that up, I've been get, I'm getting good spawns here, so I'm going to be able to fill in all the different zombie stations. I've got name tags for all of them, and I found a, a spawner. So once I figure out where that spawner is, I'll put a, a so build something over there at some point for an XP farm. I still need to light up stuff on top. It looks like. Oh, how'd you get, where'd you, where'd you come from? Where'd he come from? How'd he get out? How did he get out? How did he get out? Huh, interesting. Interesting and dangerous. Oh, he doesn't need a name tag. He's got a... Uh, I'm still going to give you a name tag, buddy. He's holding a mine cart. I don't want him to hold a mine cart, but I am not going to go through all that trouble to, to replace him. Okay, I've cleaned up everything around here. Finally got enough... Uh, zombies to uh, populate in there populate my foyer I guess it is um, I had to go back over on that side again and I f basically took a bit of time and uh, torched that whole area so there are torches all over the outside and there's torches all over the inside and I actually found uh, not one two spawners i found the other spawner that uh, zombie spawner is right there so actually that is good i can make a tower or something there which will be a uh, xp farm and it should be right beside the bridge so that actually makes a good sense i can uh, build one for the xp farm and then just a duplicate tower over there just to balance out the the bridge because there's a bridge that's going to go from right there up to here so we'll have a bridge that goes across. And then you can see, yeah, the other one way over there. And then there's another one, I think, over on that side farther back. And I even discovered there's um, a deep, dark biome down there. Uh, not an ancient city. So there's no warden or any monsters. But there's just some skulk and that you know, sensors and that kind of stuff. And even a mine shaft. So there's actually a lot under that mountain over there i've been under this mountain i've built the city on there's not that much under there at least nothing interesting but over there there's lots of interesting stuff so that's kind of cool so let's head on in here so i've got my zombies all of them are in here all of them are named i've uh, put some candles out in front of them 
Uh, quite a few of them now have, uh, quite a few of them now are carrying a minecart. Um, because I can't get it out of their hand, because they picked it up before I could, even after I named it, I think I named this one here, and then when I knocked him out of his minecart, he grabbed the minecart and ran. So I'm going to pretend, maybe the minecarts, pretend they're like some kind of token or uh, what do they call it? Some kind of icon or something that they're waving. To. I guess you can pretend they don't, pretend they're not minecarts. But. So this is the entrance. I think that gives it a good scary zombie feel. So you come through here to get in the church and get all these saint zombies all lined up here i did find uh, this one here this uh one of them actually showed up as a uh, a villager zombie inside that little box i'd created so i named him the mad monk so he's there and then we get in here and you got the normal uh church with our normal villagers over at this end So that finishes up today's episode. Finally, that took a that actually took longer than I thought it would. A little more trouble than it was, but it's I think it was well worth it to uh, get it all set up. So I think everything is done up here. So next up, we will. Uh, I think I should go down and work down here. So I'm going to need to do a little bit of cleaning out to level everything off. And then I'm just, I think I'm going to just brew up a bunch of bricks, cracked bricks, and uh, mossy bricks, and that kind of stuff. And make it mainly out of brick. So it'll be mossy brick, cracked brick, and normal brick. Uh, not so much cobblestone. Uh, probably not the floor. I think the floor will be brick, but I think the walls, I think I will mix a little cobblestone in there just to give it a little you know, different texture or different look to it. So as the sun is setting, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.